Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Lance Goodry, new defensive coordinator for the Miami Hurricanes. I'm not going to sit up here and pretend like I know about this, this guy. I'm not going to sit up here and pretend like I watched Marshall football last year. I'm not even going to pretend like I had any inside information about this hire. But what I will say is this. I said on my last video that this was the time of the year that websites that are very subscription-based, very based on people wanting to go places to get intel, inside information, this was their time to shine. I learned my lesson last year. I went hard in the paint last year about who it was I wanted, the offensive coordinator, head coach, defensive coordinator. I went hard in the paint about all of that stuff. I said, but you know what? This year, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to involve myself in these discussions because I learned something about Coach Cristobal, which probably at this particular point in time is probably his second, arguably, or his third best trait. And that is hiring people without letting a cat out of the proverbial bag. So I have to hand him that. I have to commend him for that. Because when I saw these names start leaking, I said, I'm not falling for this. I'm not doing this because I know what this is. These names are being leaked because for negotiating purposes, maybe for their prospective employer that they're already at. So I'm not falling for that, right? But Lance Goudry. <laughs> He has previous head coaching experience, which should bode well for our defense because one of the things that people say Mario wants, but then some people say that he's not actually doing, which is wanting coordinators to be essentially the head coaches of whatever units they are, even though some people say he micromanages. But this is not the video for that. On paper... This is a great hire. On paper, this is a great hire. Right amount of experience, right amount of success. The only two question marks that I have are, what are your recruiting chops like? And when I see guys come from G5 levels or lower levels of football and they go to a P5 level, I'm always concerned about how gimmicky or how tricky are they going to try to be to try to get pressure and try to turn the ball over all that type of stuff like that because i always go back to you know preseason they do those things where they have the anonymous coaches and i always remember that one anonymous coach said this is about manny diaz he's gimmicky he thinks he's the smartest person in the room so when i see people say well, do you see what he did with this talent? Can you imagine what he's going to do with our guys? I'm always hesitant because I'm like, that's what I'm afraid of. What all did you have to do to manufacture that success at a lower level job? Because a lot of that stuff is not going to work. What's working at this level is do you, can you find a matchup? Can you consistently find matchups to where our players defensively have the advantage over the offensive players? Now, I know some people were concerned. I saw, I read the little write-up about the defense. I saw some people were concerned about the, the stat that last year they stood up. They only had, they only played two down linemen. Um, and they did that for like 73% of, of all the snaps. I, man, I, I don't care about that. And the reason I don't care about that is because I, I thought about it. I said last year, we did something like that. And we did it with Jafari Harvey. Even though we had him playing in a traditional linebacker position, we tried to get him stand up. I don't believe Cyrus Moss is going to gain the necessary weight to actually be a guy that puts his hand in the dirt. I believe Cyrus Moss is going to be a guy that you can run off the edge, a guy that may be because he has a background playing safety. We have to remember that. So he's an athlete. He's a guy that we can maybe buzz out to the flats, can play hook to hook the flat or hook the, you know, uh, hook, uh, curl the flat, whichever 
very whichever enunciation or or, or however you want to label that, right? Um, don't know if Najee Kelly would be able to stand up, but Jaden Wayne should be able to stand up. His highlights show him catching the football at wide receiver, so um, that should bode well for him. As far as Ruben Bain is concerned, I think this, depending on how Gudry plays it, but I do think that this does put Ruben Bain in the lineup spelling Leonard Taylor, uh, Jared Harrison Hunt. He would be third, right? I see him playing, and and where's Wholesome and Coach Hayes when I need him? Is it the three technique? I'm sure somebody's going to let me know in the chat, but I do think that's good. He has experience with the secondary, which I don't know how well it's going to go with with, with, with with the day or a die, however you pronounce his name, Mr. Dysfunctional. <laughs> but, again, on paper, man, it's a good hire. Um, but I will say this, and I'm going to get out of here. What will make this hire successful? What will make this transition successful? Well, no, let me say this, but then i get to the end. I'm not going to hold his feet to the fire for this. But as a fan base, I do not think it would be out of character. I don't think it would be out of line if we went in with the expectation that this could be reminiscent of, in terms of just turnaround, reminiscent of what Manny Diaz did in 2016. I, I, I would not be opposed to putting that type of expectation on him, but I'm not going to hold his feet to the fire for it, right? Because, again, there's a lot of stuff you got to get dialed back. And I also think he's going to run a personnel-friendly type of offense. I mean, defense, right? I want to talk about the OC hire, but defense, right? And I'm going to say something get out here. What would make this hire a success and what make this hire work is if we do not have the the internal issues from a coaching staff that we had last year. That was the biggest downfall of us. Five and seven belong to everybody in that building. Players, coaches, uh, AD, Zoe, Ed Reed, all of them. Everyone that was on that sideline, everyone associated with the Miami Hurricane football program last year was, was, was responsible for five and seven. So hopefully this time around, we have some coaching continuity we have some we we, we have we, we go into the year with everybody with with a team mindset in the in, in the culture staff not a big eye little you well i was successful here you didn't did you know the type of bickering that we do as fans i feel like that's the type of things that happen in in, in coaching circles we heard that about urban meyer when he got pissed off and was asking all the coaches well what are your accolades how do you why why should I feel like you know what it takes to win? You know what I mean? So so I feel like a lot of that stuff was probably going on last year, right? But with that being said, Lance Goudry, welcome to the U. We are going to be 1000 percent behind you until we're not 1000 percent behind you. But hopefully we stay 100 we, we stay 100 percent behind you this entire thing. And as always, as always, as all effing ways. It's all about the you, baby. And I'm out.